Greetings, Willow Lima Shant here with your Awakening Your Consciousness Tarot reading for Wednesday, April 3rd. I'm going to go ahead and use the Syrian Starseed Tarot again today for us. Um, I hope you're having a great week. I'm going to go ahead and get these shuffled for us so that we can see what the Divine Source has for our, our guidance for today. Oops, and we dropped them. That says something. I'm going to stop right there. I think she might have something for us. Okay. Let's see what she is showing us. Ooh, interesting day. Okay. So the first card we have is the Four of Chalices. The Four of Chalices reminds us to not just sit around daydreaming, but instead live in a state of gratitude so that we are attracting more blessings. Living in a state of just wishful thinking, daydreaming, does not help us unless we're actually visualizing something we're trying to manifest. So instead of just daydreaming, hey, or wishfully thinking, I wish I had, stop doing that and start looking at what you already have in your life that you feel blessed for having that's similar to what you are trying to bring in or wishing for. And by being grateful and that in that state of gratitude, you will start to attract more of what you have. You become the magnet. So just remember that. If you want your special someone to come into your life, be grateful for all the friends you have. It will help you attract more friends and maybe that special someone will be one of those. So that's your first card. Now the next one is the Sage of Crystals. Now she is equivalent to the Queen of Pentacles. So when we look at the Queen of Pentacles, she is our nurturing energy and it's reminding us to nurture what we need. And since we are talking about our spiritual journey, we still need to look at the physical vessel that we have our spirit in right now. So that means nurture your own body, your own spiritual vessel. Because when you do that, you are going to be around long enough to do the work you need to do on your spiritual path. So take care of your physical so that your spiritual self can do the work you need to do. And we also have the master of crystals, which is equivalent to the king of pentacles. Now this is a card of making sure you are ruling over it. You're ruling over the material physical vessel and seeing what you need to do to be safe and secure in this physical vessel. So are you taking risks? Are you doing silly things? Are you overindulging in things that maybe you shouldn't be doing because it's not helping you? Do you drink too much alcohol? Are you doing drugs that are harmful? Not, I'm not talking about herbs. Um, because those are given to us by the divine, but manufactured things, things that man has made are not good for us. So what are you putting into your body? So today is more of the awareness. Be grateful for what you have with your four of chalices. Okay, be grateful and you will attract more of what you have that you're grateful for and then things will start to come into your life you may find that you are attracting the right thing that you really wish that you had then you need to remember to nurture your physical vessel make sure you are taking care of yourself okay nurturing it and then you need to rule over it you have to make sure that you don't allow things into your physical vessel that will harm it because it is too important for your spirit. Your spirit's in there. Your spirit is in this body. 
your body is what you've got to work with. It is the mechanism that you can use to create the changes around you that you need. You need your voice. How can you speak about good things to other people? How can you raise your vibration if you're not sharing good things with other people? So you have to be able to do those things with your physical vessel. But it is important to nurture that today. So nurture, rule over it, don't let bad stuff in it, and make sure you are living in a state of gratitude. And that's our message for today. And I hope that helps you for Wednesday. And if you are seeking a personal reading, just remember, check out in the description below, you'll find my website, willowlamashot.com. I can schedule your appointment anytime for a private reading. Also check me out on Facebook, on Facebook and on Instagram. You'll see the links below there in the description as well. If you're seeking any kind of Reiki or distance healing, I do those every Sunday night. Send me your name through one of those, the website, Facebook, or Instagram. I would gladly add you to the list of healing. We, we generally do that about between 9 and 11 o'clock every Sunday night. So try to get me the names as soon as you can during the week. And I'm always available to send healing at any time, especially for emergencies. Just reach out. And I hope this helps. I hope you've had a, a great week so far. Hope you continue to have a great week. And until next time, be blessed.